So, the Oklahoma City Thunder have pushed their way to second in the Western Conference, and to be honest, this is very exciting to watch. With a vast amount of versatility on this team, they can throw out different lineups to adjust to how other teams are playing them, and when you're led by an MVP caliber type player in Shea Gilgis Alexander, it elevates the whole entire squad. Although Shea brings the lights to the city, there's someone who steps up to the stage when those lights are on and starts bullying defenses, and that is Jalen Williams. Yeah, you didn't hear me wrong. I said bully and Jalen Williams in the same sentence. If you've been watching OKC games, you have seen the way that Jalen Williams affects the game from all areas of the floor, and it all breaks down into three things. For the main one that drives his game, it's power. Used as a verb, it's to move or travel with great speed or force. Watching Williams bully defenders with his 6'5 frame is amazing, as it looks like he just hits them with a stun gun before draining the shot. Watch this play here. As Williams has the straight line drop to the basket, there's only one defender in his way of getting there, and that's Michael Porter Jr. So Williams initiates the contact first to all out move MPJ and finish the bucket inside. Now, as we all know, with power comes speed, and this is the second factor to his scoring ability. When sizing up the defender, when J Dub crosses over, he bursts towards the rim in a quickness, and now with the step on the defense, he can get all the way to the rim and convert the lay through the contact. With these certain skills, it gives Williams an advantage over a lot of defenders, but what's last, and certainly not least, is his ability to navigate to his spots on the floor. With more power and speed than Curry, when he pushes towards the right side and gets cut off by Green, this is when the court navigation comes in handy, and now Williams can change direction with that behind the back and get right to that money spot to drain the shot over Curry. On 32 minutes logged per game, Williams puts up 19 points per game, 4 rebounds and 4 assists, while shooting 54% from the field and 45% from deep. So I mean, hey, judging from those numbers, can you not see the value he adds when he steps on the court? It's not even just his ability to elevate this team offensively, but when you look at OKC's defensive rating when Williams is on the floor, they play at a pace of 109 defensive rating, which would rank this team as the number two defense in the league when he's out there. With his 7-2 wingspan, this is probably the most impressive thing regarding Jalen's physical stats, and when you pair that with his quick reaction timing, this is just a nightmare for opposing teams. You better not have a big out there handling the ball like Nas Reed here, because in a flash, Williams will poke the ball right out, and with that strength he possesses, he can absorb the contact and finish over Cat. Now don't think for one second he's just picking on big men, as even when smaller guards try and blow past him, he simply swipes their lunch money, and when on the break, he cradles the ball like a running back to avoid the strip and lays this in off the glass. All of these skills we stated earlier directly help him on the defensive end as well, because with court navigation, it helps you know where everyone is on the floor, so when the double goes at Clay, this leaves Kamingo wide open, so Williams slides down to take this away, so now when Thompson spins back, he launches it over to CP3, but Williams can use that agility to intercept the pass, and to finish off the break, he slams it down hard. His defense can totally blow up other teams' entire plans, and since he's equipped with those great physical tools, when he has this long closeout on the perimeter, j -Dub can not only get out there, but he can get up to block the shot as well, which leads to an easy one inside. As you can see, all of his physical attributes give him an advantage on both sides of the ball and makes him a very versatile player. With Williams, you can use him as an anchor on the defensive end, you can put the ball in his hands to go grab you a bucket, or you can use him as an off-ball option. Every way will boost the team in a tremendous way as j -Dub can seamlessly transition to any role the team needs him to play. With many holes in the defense to carve through, Williams is a savant at finding those gaps to exploit and this leads to his amazing 90% conversion rate on 30 field goal attempts on all cutting layups and dunks. When it comes to making yourself available within the offense, it's all about timing and being in the right place at the right time. With the Wizards having literally no awareness and Kyle Kuzma in his own world, after J-Dub sets the screen, he can now flow into this wide open space as the Wizards have no paint protection and it's an easy one to send over the top from Holmgren for Williams to score inside. When you're surrounded by guys like Chet who can score from the outside and inside, it'll make defenders cater more attention to him, so when the double comes down low, Holmgren can kick it out to Giddy in the corner which makes J-Dub's man rotate down and now Williams can slice right down the middle to punch this through. Not only do these reads open up when Chet has the ball, but when Shea attacks the paint as well, it pulls the whole entire team to him, so uncovered on route, J-Dub can coast right to his destination. It's very important that defenders keep track of Williams when he's on the court, as that will help keep him from dashing to the lane, but I won't lie, it won't stop him completely. If you look here, there's a lot of friction on this play, but with the strength that Williams has, he's able to break away from the defense to receive the pass and then spring up to finish off this offensive possession. 
He can get physical if needed, which helps him play through that contact. And when he knows he has the perfect angle to the basket, he can jam the defender so they can't cover him, then release off to catch this bullet from Giddy, and it's another two points on the board. This movement all ball is key on the offensive end as it can lead to many points in close and with J-Dub, if his teammates get caught in a sticky situation, he'll make himself available. This inside scoring puts a ton of pressure on the rim so defenses will try to keep him out but the thing is, Jalen has a decent handle and a great level of physical tools in his bag so that when he has the live dribble and is creating for himself, well it's safe to say it's going to be a long day when he gets in his groove. At the time of recording this, j drives the ball 12 times per game and attempts 5 shots off of these to convert them at a 53% rate. And when looking at his mid-range, Jalen has converted 48% of his 99 attempts. So yeah, you can see he's converting pretty well. And this is when we really start to see his bully ball nature as he just puts defenders in their place and does so with such a confident demeanor. If defenders get out of place for even the slightest moment, this allows Williams to attack downhill like a speeding driver, so when Prince tries to cut him off, it's a mean hit from j which sends Prince flying and it's a wide open jumper. That vicious offhand push and shoulder bump gets the defender off him, but if you watch closely, when he initiates that contact, he bounces right into a shot motion at the same time. Like watch here, when J-Dub pushes out this crossover, that right arm is right underneath D'Angelo Russell's right arm as well, so he explodes out which moves Russell back, but as this happens, he's already in his shot motion, and now D'Lo is complaining to the ref. If you ask me, I kinda understand why the defenders would want the ref to watch this, because when he starts bullying our vets, and then feeding a step back off of it, this is just heinous. That power helps out tremendously to create space, and when he ties it in with that handle, that's when you know he's in his zone. When you watch J-Dub, the confidence just oozes out of him when he's on the court and that's when we finally get to see all his tools put on display. Versus Golden State, when he comes off this screen, Jalen drags the in and out to the left side of the lane and feeds the Hezzy to finish it off, so this fakes Looney out completely, but instead of going up for the shot, Williams uses that step back to get into the fade. I'm trying to tell you, these are shots that we would see some young players shy away from or not even look for at all, but with Jalen, he has no issue with operating in space to get his look. But wait one second, this isn't all you have to look out for because if he doesn't want to stop in that in-between area and he wants to make his way inside, will you better set up the best barricade because best believe he's coming in with aggression. That power comes right back into play as he makes it look like he's at one of those NBA camps with little kids and trust me, I'm not playing around. As this right side is isoed out for Jalen to go attack, when he stops on a dime, he pushes Clay off of him while snatching behind the back. So now this makes Clay have a conversation with the crowd, and then J-Dub can slip this in past Looney. Train, 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 train. And when I say train, I mean get in the gym. Because when guarding J-Dub, it's gonna be a dogfight, and you better be ready to go at it. He's just so great at getting into defender's body before going up, and it leads to a ton of open looks. And hey, even if you try to get up on him on the perimeter, he can send you flying with that hit stick, and then go put down an electrifying slam. Defenders must make a business decision when he's soaring in like that because they could very well end up on a poster, but sometimes you may get lucky where he doesn't slam it on you, but with that strong frame, if you do body up with him in the air, well he can play right through that contact and finish the bucket. Is he flawless? Nah, not at all. But when the young kid on the rise is already bullying the whole class, soon enough he will be feared, but not only that, he will be respected. respected.